so next node is particle size you can just search here the size or you can go here and there's a particle size or here particle size okay so this is similar to the previous one that was particle radius in particle radius the x and y was combined but in the particle size we have the x and y separate and i had also video on that particle size particle radius sorry this one just 22 minutes ago so in this one i also showed you that you can do the same thing with the within the niagara without this node but i struggled a little bit but now i figured it out so i will show you that again so first we will see how this works so this works like uh, if you have a condition and you have the particle size and let's say you have uh, you have uh, mask it only taking the green that is the y axis and if this is greater than this size this target size that you can make also a dynamic parameter like i did in that video so let's say this is your target size so do something so based on that we will use two colors red and green and save this so now i will create the niagara delete this and just the linear velocity and red and now i'll use that material here so let it compile first so these are red and in the particle size if i increase or decrease the size like let's say i have uniform size and i decreasing it is becoming green but because i have the combined size of x and y if you separate this non-uniform you can change x and it will not change your color because we are not using x we are just using the y so if we change the y it will change the color so it is just that thing so if you change the axis and now y will not affect it anyway but x will do okay so let's say if you want to now you got to know the use of this this is just to change the parameter depending on the size of particle if the size reaches the target you can do anything like you can use the colors or you can use the radial or anything so let's say you have a radial exponent and i connect this one here and i copy this and paste this here so i i want in first condition my density should be like 0.1 in my second condition my density should be like 10 okay so save this we are using x here so keep in mind that so here now if i'm changing the x it's fading you can see it's fading decreasing size making it sharp or fade so depending on the size you can use any two values whether it is density radius or your material any parameter that you want to be depending on the x and y now comes to uh, what how can you do the same thing in niagara so in a shorter way because in the previous video i struggled a little bit so let's save this so now in the particles uh, let's say you have just the uniform size like one okay and here you have the size and uh, not mesh size size that is uh, like at the 0.5 it is 0.5 and at 1 it is 2 okay or maybe at 0.6 so it is increasing the size at 0.5 here so depending on that uh, i want to change the color so i'll take the color and then lerp and then two colors red and green and this uh, lerp value factor will change the color whether it is green or red 
now dynamic input and what I'll do I'll take the size and then break this you can take any axis you want and just take the length of this that's it you need to connect this here and see the output it's little reddish here but not exactly so you can use the power like uh, you have a gradient so you can use the power to edit that like in material and then this power value exponent you can make it b and if i increase this like this you can see the difference we have the green and we have the reds okay so depending on the particle size you can do that so like if i randomize the size here you have the one if i randomize this 0.1 to 1 you can see little red is already also there okay or if you make it like two the little green will be there in the bottom so you can also do that in niagara so this particle node can be useful somewhere but you can do almost same thing in the niagara so thanks for watching keep learning